everybody six o'clock and we're up ready to go you've both got to be mad to do this but we really love early mornings I've got my special sweatshirt on from Maggie as well which is quite nice in this cool morning air bye for now we leave Market Drayton not visiting our favorite pub the Red Lion um, six o'clock in the morning so I'm not you know shouting too loud and uh, we don't want to wake everybody in who are still in slumberland and of course we're trundling very very slowly so that we don't disturb all the boats so it's water and toilet duties first and then we're away just before we go under the bridge ahead to the left there that's a old corn mill and we remember going coming past it years ago and it was just a wreck you know it was it was just all I thought it was going to be demolished at one point but it's all been done up because of the craze for having canal side property it's all been done up very very nice and it's a set of apartments now and looks absolutely great yeah to think that building could have easily been lost but it's not and it just it just suits the area absolutely wonderful rubbish gone toilet done waterfall off to Turley Locks now you can see over there that's a, a wharf there you can imagine the corn mill and all the agricultural grain was being poured into the uh, into the boats extremely busy that would have been in the uh, industrial era it's great when they leave these things up though and you've got a little bit of history to think about I've always done that I've always done that it's not just a case of having a boat for us over the years I've always wanted to know little snippets of information because then you appreciate it far more On the left hand side these are private moorings but on the right these are just the normal moorings for anybody who turns up but in the busiest season you have to get here early because it tends to uh, get very full at Market Drayton in peak times out of season not too bad but like I say peak season extremely busy in Market Drayton there's a pub called the well a hotel now is the Cor Corbett Arms Inn Stroke Hotel that has a a little bit of history associated with the Shropshire Union from many years ago I'll tell you shortly but it's quite interesting and uh, it certainly had an impact on the building of this canal a little meeting took place but like I say as we come out of Market Drayton I'll tell you later When they built the uh, Birmingham and Liverpool Junction Canal, now the Shropshire Union from Nantwich to Otherley, it was built for speed, but it's full of cuttings and embankments, and it's straight, or, or straight in most places. And currently we're going along Turley Cutting, 
which is just before Turley Locks. When the decision was made to make which is the final uh, huge canal, you know, the big, a big canal in the Industrial Revolution, the section from Nantwich to Otherley was beset with problems. Absolutely. It was such a big job to do, it was tendered for by three people to build in three sections because it wasn't it couldn't be done in one. So there was like three companies as such who were building certain sections of the Birmingham and Liverpool Junction Canal. But like I say, it was beset with problems and further on there's a few embankments what continually collapsed and I'll talk about them as we get there. But there was that much concern, an urgent meeting was called on the 8th of September in 1832 at the Corbett Inn or Corbett Arms or Corbett Arms Hotel as it probably is now still there in the middle of Market Drayton urgent meeting and Thomas Telford came to have this meeting to discuss what they were going to do to rectify the problems loads of ideas some good some bad but the main thing Thomas Telford who was a supreme engineer very famous his health was failing during the building of this, this canal and the people he met up with were very, very concerned in the condition he was in, what he, what he was like. But they still discussed what they wanted to do. And as we go further on, I'll explain a few other things. <laughs> but there's one thing what amazed me, and it's no wonder it, one of the... Uh, embankments collapsed again but it's better to tell you that further on we've now entered the long section of narrow tree-lined canal taking us down to the uh, first lock of the day at Turley I wonder what them uh, by washes are like <laughs> sometimes they're not too bad other times you need your boating skills. Turley cutting, it does look nice, really does. As we approach our first lock of the day, but the scenery and the just looking at all the where it's been cut out it's just absolutely superb but this cutting it's like a tiny little one compared to where we're going <laughs> but uh, always amazes me all done by hand cutting out solid rock Yes, the navvies certainly worked hard. Mind you, they lived hard as well. As we come to this lock, there's a significant bywash on the right and you can get washed up on the sandstone on the left so you have to be wary of it so I'll keep it filming to show how I do it and then on the next one I'll do the bow camera so you can see how I do that one so off we go La 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 dee 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 
la 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 di 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 and around The master at work. <laughs> He knows exactly what to do on any type of lock. Then again, after all this time, we should. We know how to, what water to let in, how, at what volume, and then you're not bashing around. And this is why we find it all relatively easy these days. We've had our trials and tribulations and problems over the years but we've learned from our mistakes we still do make mistakes and that but it's not as often <laughs> so we've put the bow camera on and let's see how the next lock pans out you can see us doing it again and how to uh, deal with by washes very confident watch this now I'll go and hit the lock beautiful early morning weather as well absolutely sensational but we do know that later on in the day like I've said storms are forecast so we make the most of it by starting early certainly a grand way to relax certainly is these fierce by washes can definitely push you to the left so as I've said before you make a little adjustment and aim for them Yes, but we'll sort it. It's almost inevitable that at times you're going to have a dink dink on your boat and give a little bump. I don't do it that often but that's a really fierce by wash that and sometimes it can't be avoided. The main thing is not being pushed to the left and getting stuck on the side because it's really hard to get off on that particular, on, well on this particular lock. It's notorious. So the main thing is if you can get away with the dink dink bumps that's fine doesn't do any doesn't do any harm to the boat just marks the black in a bit which we obviously at end of season we'll touch up and uh, it'll look like new again but 
that's at the end of our cruising not during it but uh, I love these little challenges I really do when I'm boating it really is you know it brings a load of enjoyment Now this lock still has a by wash but this one's much easier than the last one. Famous last words he says, but it is. It's not as fierce and I should be alright controlling the boat going in. That one was a doddle, an absolute doddle. That's because the, the by wash on this one is designed much better than the previous. We know a, a cowboy very, very well. He's got all the gear. It's, he looks absolutely superb and, you know, really smart. But when I was talking to him, he said, oh, it's ridiculous, all this gear said when the weather's hot I said I'm sweating away I just can't stand it I said so I've come up with a solution and uh, I said what's that he said well I'm going to make everything out of paper I'll make a paper hat paper shoes paper pants paper coat paper everything so I thought, oh, that's uh, rather unusual. But he did. And he says, it's absolutely brilliant. It's nice and cool. I just, I just feel right. I said, well, good for you. Anyway, he went in a shop. I didn't see him again because he ended up in jail why? well he was actually done for rustling <laughs> is that a 1 out of 10 that one? <laughs> think we'll leave it there. Now that was a, a great flight of locks to do early morning because you've not got too many boats to pass in the short and rocky pounds. So my muscles are worked up so I can now have a chocolate biscuit with my cup of tea. Next time we enter one of the finest cuttings on the network. But for now that's it. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to. Or press the notification bell. Comment, share, like, dislike. Completely up to you. But for now, as always, we'll see you in the next one. Ta-ra!